As technology advances, we find better and smarter ways to design the things that we use every day, like an EV that can power your house when you're not driving it. It's this win-win philosophy that is the cornerstone of great design. I recently got my roof replaced and it got me thinking, what would a win-win for a roof look like? Well, what if your roof could passively clean smog in the air and convert it to fertilizer for your lawn and plants? Well, that's what 3M is working on with this. Their smog reducing granules that can be integrated into roofing shingles. So how does it work and how could it impact you? Let's find out. I'm Ricky and this is Tuba DaVinci. Huge thanks to 3M for helping us make this video. Smog is by far one of the most obvious and worst forms of air pollution, and it's really a big problem for literally billions of people around the world. Smog doesn't just make cities look ugly and smell bad, it's also dangerous for our health. Worldwide, almost 7 million people die prematurely every year from air pollution related illnesses, making it the single largest environmental cause of disease and death, according to a 2022 update report from the World Health Organization. So what's the answer then? Well, it might just come in the form of a very special, stable and inert inorganic organic compound that we've actually been using for years but also has a very interesting property. When exposed to UV radiation, it turns into an active catalyst that can drive several different chemical reactions like decomposing smog. This is known as a photocatalyst. Smog is a combination of smoke and fog. Smoke, fog, smog. Oh my god. I don't think I knew that. And it contains several air pollutants, including different nitrogen oxides or NOx, such as NO and NO2, sulfur dioxide, and particulate matter like dust, pollen, soot, and so on. When activated with UV light, photocatalysts have the ability to break down compounds like NOx from the air. NOx can affect our lungs, cause acid rain, and can combine with other components of smog, forming nitric acid. Photocatalysts are awesome substances that can help us reduce some of these harmful pollutants. Researchers have known about this for almost two decades and have since figured out ways to take advantage of photocatalytic materials, integrating it into all sorts of products in some pretty unique ways. The Manuel Guerra Gonzalez Hospital in Mexico City even incorporated it into this 20,000 square foot facade that helps keep the air inside the hospital clean in the middle of a city notorious for smog. And as crazy as this sounds, fashion designers Helen Story and British chemist Tony Ryan teamed up in 2011 to create smog eating clothing through their catalytic clothing project. The idea was to add photocatalytic material to fabric detergent so clothes would be saturated with the catalyst when washed, turning us into walking air purifiers. The Minnesota-based company 3M has been manufacturing roofing granules for shingle manufacturers for over 90 years. 3M smog reducing granules are basically tiny rocks with several coatings including an active photocatalytic layer. And although 3M's exact chemistry is a trade secret, here's generally how they work. UV rays in sunlight activate the catalyst by forming highly reactive species in the granule coating. These substances are strong oxidizers and they break down nitrogen oxides or NOx into nitrate salts which are deposited on the granule surface. Then the rain washes the salts away, leaving a refreshed catalyst ready for action once again. So if keeping you warm and dry and cleaning the air around your home wasn't enough, another cool part about smog eating shingles is that the nitrates produced during the reaction happen to be a plant usable form of nitrogen. An easy way to understand how effective these shingles are is by considering that a typical 3000 square foot roof covered with shingles using 3M's smog reducing granules has the smog fighting power of two to three trees. So covering Covering all roofs in LA with smog eating shingles would have the smog fighting power of roughly 2 million trees. Not a bad number when you consider that New York's Central Park is home to just 18,000 trees. This would be like having more than 100 Central Parks here in LA. Now there are some things to remember. The first is how long the catalyst remains active. For this to make sense, they should work for at least 20 to 30 years since that's how long normal asphalt shingle roofs last. But 3M has already been testing this for at least 10 years, so this should be just fine. The second thing to remember is that, as I mentioned earlier, the catalyst needs to be washed off by dew or rainwater to remove the nitrate salts that build up on the surface. So for all these benefits we've stated, I think this is a really interesting product. Unlike most tech we cover, which requires you to swap out your gas water heater for an expensive heat pump or adding thousands of dollars in batteries or solar, this is truly a one-to-one -one replacement. In fact, if companies like 3M and others just start working on this on all of our roof shingles, we'd be doing our part to clean the air without even knowing it. And I think that's what makes this so amazing. 3M Science is committed to helping solve some of the world's 
biggest challenges. Challenges like transportation inequality, worker safety, access to healthcare, and climate change. And I think that's what's so amazing about this. Odds are you have a hundred products in your home from 3M. They're huge and they actually have the R&D budgets to pull this off. So maybe the next time you need a new roof, you should ask your installer if they have a smog fighting option. But what do you think? Have you been researching other kinds of roofing materials? Like 3M also has this really cool cooling roof component that reflects, radiates out heat to keep your attics cooler in the summertime. There's all sorts of tech and research going on right now. It's a pretty exciting time in the world of roofing. But I'd love to know what you think. What are your questions and comments? Sound off in the comments below. And while you're at it, Check out this video next. I think you're going to like it. And until next week, I'm Ricky with Tuba Da Vinci. Thank you so much for watching.